how to create a stroke selection effect in Clip Studio Paint. Got an image here. Key panels to be using here are color set and layers. You can find those via the window menu. So color set there and layer, make certain they're set. What you can then do is go to a new raster layer via the layer menu. So you've got a new layer, you can see that there. Set the color. This is gonna be the color for the stroke. Go to selection area and select color gamut. Set the error margin. Also, make certain that multiple referring is set to all layers. Also, what now you can do is go to the image itself and select a color. You can see the selection then appear. And that's for that color. And that's for the bottom layer. Click OK. So now the bottom layer, which I've selected the white area, that's been selected. What you can then do is go to Edit and Go down to Outline Selection. And now this is going to be using the current color. You can't change the color within it, so set it via the color set beforehand. And you can change the line width, say four, five. You can vary it, of course, each time. And also I'm going to go for Draw on Border. Click OK. And now you can see you've got an outline that's been applied all around that selection. And if you remove the background layer, you can see your drawing now. Very loose, very, just very faint at this point. But you can do it a few more times than that. Now you can use in layers. So what you can do, you can go to the layer menu again and add a new layer, new raster layer. And then go to Selection Area and Deselect. And that's make certain that's, that layer is selected. And then go to Selection Area again, select Color Gamut. And you can vary that error margin if you wish. Change it to something different. Maybe 12. Then select a colour. Always remember to select a colour, so go for the brown this time. But of course, you just select anything, maybe the black, the reds in the image. Up to you. Again, it's all layers. Click OK. Now you've got selection there. You can see the selection there. What you can do, change the colour again. Now, change the colour before you go into the Edit menu and down to Outline Selection. Now you can vary the line width. Now this is going to be applied to the second layer, the new layer, the blank layer at this point. Click OK. And then you've got another. And so what I can do, I could deselect again the main image and you can see, and then you've got your drawing there. And now what you can do, go to the selection area and you can deselect the So you can now see you get more and more of the image. It's a very basic sketch. And you can create another layer. You can create three, four, five, ten layers and select all the different colors as you wish. So layer menu and new raster layer. I'm not going to do more than a couple, so. what you can do with each of the layers, of course you can apply effects to them as well. So you can actually go to that layer and go to filter menu and Gaussian blur, set a value. And what happens then, it will blur that selection, that design you've got there, the gray. It creates different, maybe depths to the image. And you can repeat this over and over again again you can go back to the original image bring that back again and you can also of course use blending modes so you can blend between them so just they're just standard layers so you can set it to multiply and that creates different 
designs. And you can go through all the others, maybe difference, overlay. There's some that have no effect at all. But you can run through them and see which one you, you think, well, that looks really good, really adds to the image, which is the key thing. Again, then you can add additional layers, or you can just go to Layer Menu and flatten the image. You could repeat this, of course, multiple times, add multiple layers, different colours, different selections. Build up a completely wonderful image. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel, always adding new tutorials about Clip Studio Paint, Critter, Affinity Photo, Photoshop, and many others. Please add a comment or two, always appreciated. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.